Hey everybody, Adam here. Thanks for watching this video. I'm sorry it's been so long since the video, uh, but thank you again to those that have been uh, liking the videos and have been taking part and, and just overall the first video. Thank you for watching. Today we're going to continue off. Obviously it's been quite a long time. This is sort of the template we had done before in part one. You can watch that. Um, but basically this is what we had. We had uh, just a simple page set up with a logo. Today we're going to go a little bit more in depth, meaning that we're going to show you a couple cool features. Now, first of all, if you run your station with CentovaCast, um, I'm going to show you how to integrate all of these widgets into your website so they work. I'm also going to show you how you can add a player to your website, and I'm also going to show you how you can start to pretty up your website and some of the things that I do. So first of all, if you use CentovaCast, uh, I'm going to show you how you can install these widgets. So for my website, I usually like having a lot of stuff on the sidebar. So this is the Asteroid theme. It's free. If you want to know how to do this, go to Widgets. And what we're going to do is we're going to go back here for a second. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to have two widgets from Centova. We're going to add the uh, Stream Details, and we're going to add the Recent Tracks widget over here. Our, uh, yeah, so let me just double check here. Yeah, sorry, we're going to add the stream status summary, and we're going to add the recent tracks. Now, all this other stuff you're welcome to do as well, and we'll show you how to do that. Uh, but for today, we're going to show you how to add these things to the sidebar so you can have a look and see what you like. You can add them anywhere within a page within the sidebar. I just found they look pretty good on a sidebar. This is where I like to put my main content. So to do this, you would want to go to widgets. This is our side sidebar widget here. Nothing in it right now. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to grab the text widget. We're going to add that. We're also going to add another one for the second code. And what we're going to do here is we're going to say now playing because this is going to show the song that's currently playing on your Centova. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the first code here. We're going to hit the text because this, if you do it in visual, it won't call up the uh, HTML partition of it. So we're going to hit text, and this will let us put the HTML in. Now, I get a lot of people saying, okay, I've added the code. There we go. Why is it not working? It just is loading. Now, if you see below here, this confuses some people. This code right here, you have to put both of these codes in, so some people don't know where to put the second code. Just put it right next to it and right, over, right underneath of it. And then when you reload your website, there it is. Uh, mine isn't set up right now because I'm, I'm upgrading some things. So there you go. If you're Centova sending your stats, it'll show right on your website just by doing that. Second thing we're going to do here is we're going to close this one. This one here I'm going to say recently played. And this is going to be the one for the recently played, played tracks. Likewise, grab the first code here. Plop that in. Again, hit text to call up the HTML. And then enter the first code, and then enter the second code. Now, once that's done, we go back, and there you go. You have the recent tracks from your radio station. Now, if you're not like me, and you don't mind having a player that is just within the website rather than being a pop-up, here's another thing you can do. There is a there is a, a web player, uh, which you can specify the type of two different types of players. Uh, you can specify, uh, and you can use between Muses player and J player. I like JPlayer just because of the fact that it uh, works better on mobile devices. And if you know me and if you know a lot of people, uh, that's the new norm, people using mobile devices these days. Anyway, so let's go back to our codes here. Grab the web player code, and we're going to go back to our site here and our widgets. Now, you can, add, you can do two things. We're going to add it under the sidebar, so we're going to go a third text element here. And we're not going to give this a title just because it's a player. Click text, enter that code, enter the second code, and now when people visit your website, they can easily tune into your station just by clicking here. So that is one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is a bit better, I find. It's what I do on my station, so I'll, sh I'll quickly show you what my website looks like uh, so you can get an idea. This is my website, a little bit different. So yeah, you see, I do have similar widgets. So there you go. There's what that is. There's that. But the way I have it is so we have a Listen Live button that I've created in Photoshop. Now when they click on this button, 
it brings up our player. Now that player there I paid for. You're welcome to look for a player on Code Canyon, and you can install it on your website. That's one way of doing it. But for today's tutorial, this will work for you. If you like this, then that's absolutely great. There's also, you can have it on another page. You can have it wherever you want. Uh, just to kind of show you before, um, just to kind of show you how, how this would go into here, um, I'm going to move over. I'm going to go back to um, our pages. So let's go to pages. So we only have one page right now, which is the home page. If you wanted to have the player in the home page, you could do that. So like the widget area, you would click text. We're going to enter the scripts again for our web player. And there's your player. Obviously, you would want two of them. <laughs> but either way, they work, and they and they tune your stream in. Uh, the third thing I'm going to show you today is another really cool thing. So you could even have this in your header in this theme if you wanted to. And that would look like this, which is kind of cool. Uh, the other thing I'm going to show you is how to kind of build up your home page a little bit. There's been a few people asking me how to do that. Now before we move on here, I'm just going to remove that code so we just have the player on the right-hand side. Now, without buying a theme, some themes don't allow you to customize things like this. This is a free theme for the purpose of today's tutorial. Now, one thing I'm going to suggest is that if you have banners you're making up for your radio station, that's great, but we need a slider. So let's go find a slider plug-in. I love having sliders on my radio station, uh, and I just find it gives it a really cool touch to get the message out of all, of all your features on your station and stuff like that. So we're going to install this slider right here. Just give it some time. Here we go. We'll activate that. And you'll see on the left here, a new button showed up. So we'll go to Meta Slider. And this is the first time setting up. So let's go New. Here we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to go, we're going to name this Home Page Slider. All right, we're going to click Save so we have it established. So what we're going to do now is add a slide. Um, so we have some images that I just uploaded. Uh, so we'll add those in here. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, we'll add another one. There we go. These are the images that are going to appear. So what we're going to do is we're going to finish with this. All right, cool, I know. <laughs> so we're going to save this once again. We're going to go down. Now, this is the part that people were confused about, saying, how can we get this on the home page? The slider's there. It's not showing up. Now, sometimes you can do this in two ways. This is how you do the first way. First way is, one, you have uh, a short code here that they give you. So you can go ahead and copy that or just click on it in this case. Go back to your home page here. Now, if you're on um, visual, you're going to want to click text. I'm going to reload this just so I can show you how to do the other way. Um, but basically, you want to be on the text, or you want to be on visual at this point, sorry. So if you're on text, click on visual. The short codes won't work so well when they're in text. So put this in there. This isn't really a uh, HTML code. This is more of a script code, something built when you install the theme. So that's one way of calling up your... Uh, slider so let's refresh here and there is your slider just like that looks amazing already from the first 10 minutes we've been starting this second way to make it easier a lot of these uh, themes and, and a lot of these plugins that they're putting out uh, actually add a button right to the page so in this example you see it adds slider right here it'll list any sliders you've created so in this case it's again home page slider insert slideshow and it inserts the code for you just like that so that's a really cool way Another thing that I like to do on my home page is add posts. One thing that I like to add posts about is a lot of celebrity gossip, depending on the station uh, format you have. So just for an example, um, I have no idea. Like just say JB caught in Florida doing bad stuff. I don't know. And then you'd enter your title here. So we'll say this past week. I was caught doing bad stuff in Florida. It was a shame. Okay, just, just for an example. <laughs> so as you see, I have two categories here set up for this case. You'd have uncategorized. 
Select an image, just a random image. It can be anybody. So we're going to post this just to show you what I mean. So we'll post that. It's not going to show up just yet, but that, again, it's something I like to have on my home page. So we'll go back here. Now, I find it's a lot easier to insta install Page Builder. So Page Builder is a plugin that allows you to build your pages. So I'm going to click on Page Builder. It's going to ask, would you like to copy the editor's content of the Page Builder? Yes, we do. So now it's going to put everything into little squares, and so it's more organized. Now we're going to add a widget. Uh, we're going to look for the recent posts. Uh, recent post right there. We're going to go under here. We're going to display the date. We're going to go back. And then when we refresh the page, we have our new posts here. That's something I like to have as well. Now let's go over and uh, we're going to add a couple more pages. So one that I like to add is on air. So there we go. On air. We're going to add another one. Contact. And we're going to add another one. And then we're going to uh, podcasts or archive rather there. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go to our pages. We're going to slowly build these pages. So what we're going to do is we're going to go edit on the contact. We're going to make go to page builder to make it easier. One thing I like to do on my contact page is add a row and make it a double row. We're going to add a text widget. Actually, what we'll do is we'll add the site origin editor to make it have the full editor that we need. So on this side, you're going to add your contact information for your station. Contact us, phone, and then email. Yeah, so you can add all your contacts for your station over here. What I like to do is have my contact form, which I can't remember if I installed yet. So no, I haven't. So what we'll do is we'll go over here. Add a new plugin. We'll look for Contact Form 7. And we'll install that. This is a really easy contact form. We'll install that. And it'll add another button here on the left. Click on Contact. We'll go in and make sure everything's set up. This is a pretty basic form. And it's perfect for the contact page. So we'll go back. But before we do that, we're going to go over here to our additional settings. Make sure everything's good there. We're going to go back to our messages. If you want to modify some of the messages, just read through here and you can modify those. But we're going to go to the mail tab. We want to make sure our email is the right email here. So you want to put the email in here that you want the emails to go to when someone submits it. So in your case, it would be your email or station email, whichever you want. So once that's done, you're going to want to click Save. And like I said, you're going to get a, uh, you know, a contact form generation. So we have a short code for this as well, just like the, uh, just like the slider we had. In this case, we're going to go back here, and we're going to go back and close this page. We're going to go back to our main page. We're going to duplicate this. We're going to bring this over here, and we're going to get rid of that, and we're going to add our contact form in there. So there we go. Now let's go back to our website, which we've started. So now we have our pages up here. What happens now when you click on Contact, we have a really nice area on the left for our contact information and a nice contact form here on the right when they click on that it's going to send the details to you um, and that will send when you actually enter everything correctly all right that's going to wrap it for this video part three coming very soon so stay tuned for that in part three i'm going to show you how to install a player like the one on my website a pop-up player that shows all the really cool things and all the song titles and i'm going to show you how you can install that. So stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching the video.